And I'm back again uh, with, with another vlog a lot sooner this time. But yeah, and so for this one, like the title says, uh, I'm going to talk about uh, the, the job that I just quit uh, after one week. Yeah, it was just under two weeks ago that I left my new job. So, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, uh, it was a job working uh, in the hospital laundry department. Uh, yeah, I would go to a big warehouse, uh, but basically just clean laundry or or help help clean laundry, I guess. But but yeah, yeah. So the job actually started r right after. Uh, my ski resort job ended. Yeah, yeah, the, they, they were a little flexible with the start date, so I uh, started the day after my last day at the ski resort. Uh, yeah, yeah, on mon on a Monday. That, that Monday, it was actually just online job orientation so I, I was actually right here in uh, in my apartment for the whole day and just doing I guess webcam orientation where where they had one person just going through the details of the the hospital that I worked for other job related stuff so yeah that was nothing but, but I, I still got paid for it and then Tuesday they had me come in at 9 a.m. to the actual warehouse and and uh, yeah there's uh, another small orientation that I went through with some other new recruits. Uh, th this was more related to my actual job. Uh, and, and then there was also a lot of paperwork that I had to fill out. Then after that was all finished, I did start uh, working. And I, I worked until 5 30 uh, and, and I got a half hour for lunch and, uh, so like m minus the, the orientation and the paperwork it was six six and a half hours some, something like that of actual work and at the end of the day it uh, seemed all right you know I still felt pretty good about the job, uh, but but then I come in on Wednesday at, at what would be my normal start time at 7 a.m. and I come in and I start seeing people there starting work uh, who left yesterday with me at 5.30. So I'm looking around and I'm thinking, this doesn't seem right. I mean, if, if they work until 5.30, shouldn't they not come in until nine, like, like I did, or, or, or they only work until 3.30 today, which is what I kind of thought I was going to do. That day I ended up working 7 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Uh, 
Yeah, uh, that would be full of 10 hours. Yeah, and then plus a half hour for lamp show. Yeah, 10 full paying hours. Which, which, little good news is that this was my highest paying job that I ever had. I was being paid $14 an hour. Well, actually, my exact pay rate was $13.99 an hour. And they, they couldn't give me one more penny an hour. But, yeah, yeah still highest bank job I've ever had. And worked 10 hours on Wednesday. And then Thursday was actually my day off. Because uh, the way they had it set up, the whole warehouse closes on Sunday and everyone has that day off uh, every, every week. Uh, and then your other day off would be either Saturday or Monday. Yeah, you either have one of those days off plus Sunday for, I think it was two months, and then the schedule would change, so then other people could have two days off in a row, and then you, your other day off would change. So my days off were Sundays and Thursdays, and then, then it was gonna change in two months to either Saturday or Monday. Yeah. I, I'm not sure. I didn't really look. But yeah, so anyway, Friday I come back to work and uh, in the morning uh, it doesn't feel like I had a day off yesterday. It, yeah, it just felt like uh, I worked Thursday, even though I didn't, and I, I was actually kind of late to work, yeah, just because I was, just wasn't, wasn't feeling right, yeah, yeah, just feeling off, only having, having worked 10 hours one day, having one day off, and then right back to work on Friday, yeah. But yeah, <clears throat> yeah, so Friday and Saturday, I, I worked a little less, around 4.45 for both days, so like a little bit over nine hours those two days, but yeah, but I was just, just so exhausted and uh, overwhelmed, I guess. Yeah, and the, the way it sounded to me during the interview process was that I would usually be working eight hours, you know, with a half hour for lunch, and then occasionally I would work uh, overtime, which sounds fine. Sounds like something I could do, and I've done that before with other jobs, but I just couldn't do nine, ten hours every single day. Uh, yeah, especially not manual labor, which is what this was. Because, <clears throat> uh, yeah, I, I had two different positions that I worked the four days I would work when the laundry was coming in uh, and yeah the, the dirty laundry it would come in these plastic bags uh, and they had these big tall crates on wheels as, as tall as I am and they dumped them out onto a conveyor belt and 
and then me and another person would have to rip them open and dump all the laundry that's in it out and then the conveyor belt would go up and go into the washing machines and, and the, there were some things that we had to pick out uh, before it got on the conveyor belt but yeah but I was basically ripping open bags for nine or ten hours straight and uh, I never realized how sore your fingertips can get uh, until after I was finished ripping open those bags. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and they, they didn't give you anything to help you, like, like some sort of, I don't know, like leather opener. Can't, can't really do a knife because that that would be like too dangerous. Yeah. And yeah, and I'm actually all the, like decked out in protective gear. Like I have two pairs of rubber gloves, rubber gloves on each hand, two pairs. And then they give you those scrubs uh, to, to wear each day. And then I also had like a long sleeve apron, I guess. Also on, mm, this is all protection. And then I also was wearing a face mask because of COVID, so I was quite protected. And then the other position they had me on uh, was for the dryers, like these big, huge industrial drying machines. And the clothes were like come out from this big tube I guess and, and then drop into a crate on wheels and then you push the crate to, to where it needed to go but yeah that, that one was a lot easier than the, the other job and and yeah you actually got to work with uh, clean laundry this time and and warm laundry because it, it it all came out of the dryer so so it, yeah it was nice and warm yeah felt good yeah yeah the, that position wasn't so bad but uh, also in the whole warehouse is really loud I mean during that interview process the uh, employer did take me on a brief tour of the place and I, I did notice it was loud and he, they do allow you to wear earplugs while you're working but it's hard to do that and listen to other people giving you directions on how to do your job. So, yeah, I, I, I don't miss the noise. They, they said it was below the, le, the, the noise was below the levels that can cause hearing damage. So, I think my ear hearing is okay for now, but still, still glad to be out in the in the quiet. I did ask another person who works there, are the hours always like that? And he told me, yeah, yeah, he's usually working uh, nine, 10, or sometimes 11 hours a day, depending on the workload. Yeah, th yeah, that was enough to to uh, convince me to quit. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, by Friday I was ready to quit, but uh, I realized that I worked on Saturday. Uh, the, the, my manager 
probably went in. Yeah, you know, he's the boss, so he probably doesn't work on weekends or, or Saturdays because everyone doesn't work on Sundays. So, so I realized I might not be able to talk to him on Saturday, and I was right. He did not work on Saturday. So, uh, I actually ended up writing a resignation letter. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I just googled resignation letter and then, uh, yeah, then I looked at ones I found online and yeah, took pieces from a, a one or two examples that I saw and then made my own and I'm, I, I made it really fancy. Yeah, and I said this uh, this letter is to inform you that I hereby resign from my position effective immediately. <coughs> yeah, I think that's I think that's what I said. Something fancy like that, and and then I I did end it by saying thank you for the opportunity and the, and the kindness you've shown me, you know, just to end on a positive note. And, and, and I, I did mention I wasn't being a good fit for the position or the hours just to give some reason as to why I was quitting. Yeah, I just took that letter to work and uh, uh, I held on to it during the day. Uh, uh, I put it in a, a locker that they, they let employees use. Uh, so you can put your personal stuff in, in there. And yeah, I kept it in there for the whole day. And, to, you know, to, just in case maybe Saturday was going to be different and I would only work eight hours, but no, no, it didn't, didn't work out that way. So yeah, at the end of the day, uh, like as everyone's leaving, I, uh, I, I, I kind of like, you know, stayed behind and t t took my time. Uh, getting all my stuff so, so that I could be the one of the last people to leave and yeah and then I went uh, over to what where my boss's office was. I decided to not go into it. Uh, the, the door was closed when I got there and I, I didn't want to cross any personal line. So yeah so I, I ended up uh, slipping my leather under the door uh, along with uh, the badge that they gave me that uh, I needed to get into the building uh, yeah yeah you take the badge and hold it up against a scanner that's what it was a gas scanner and then it would unlock the door so yeah, I left that behind, so couldn't get back into the building. And I left, and now I have no job. <laughs> and this is the first time I've quit the job without having either another, another job to go to or to go back to school. I uh, didn't have either option. Yeah, so that's uh, how I quit my job after one week. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've been applying to all sorts of other jobs uh, ever since leaving. I, I, I do have the ski resort as a backup. They don't open for summertime activities until uh, 
they're, they're saying Memorial Day weekend is when they're gonna open back up and they won't be open seven days a week until mid to late June. So just have to see what happens. Yeah, again, but uh, yeah, but I'm, I'm glad that I quit because uh, yeah, I would not want to be stuck at that job. Yeah, yeah, I can't, can't go back to it. Uh, working nine, ten hours a day in manual labor, not for me. If it was closer to eight hours a day, I could do it. Not, not for ever, but still for a little while, I, I, I could still do it. Uh, I would be on my feet all day, but I've had other jobs like that and it wasn't the right job for me, so hopefully my next job will be better. But yeah, yeah, so that's going to be it for this vlog. Uh, until next video, goodbye.